This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 3, Number 80. Here we want to use the rules of exponents to solve the following equations by matching bases. Okay? We've done this before. We found a common base on both sides, and then we're able to set the exponents equal to each other. So part A, we have to look at all of these terms. Okay, we have 8 to the power of 1. I'm going to write that explicitly so we can see it times 4 to the power of x is equal to the cube root of 1 over 2 to the power of x. Okay? So the common base here I see is 2 because 4 can be represented as 2 squared, right? That's just 2 squared. 8 can be represented as 2 cubed because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. And that's how we can represent it. The cube root, remember, is going to be the power of one-third. Okay? So we're going to just go ahead and simplify this now until we get a common base, and then we can set the exponents equal to each other. So 2 cubed times 2 squared to the x power is the same as 2 to the 2x power, right? You multiply these, equals to, now I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to the numerator by making the exponent negative. So I'm going to change the sign in the exponents and positive now, so it's going to become negative x to the one third power. Okay. Base two to the power of three times base two to the power of two x. Same base here means we can go ahead and combine that into one and add the exponents. Three plus two x equals two. Again, we're going to go ahead and multiply these because it's, we're raising it to another power. So it's two to the negative x times one-third or negative one-third x. Same base now, we can go ahead and set the exponents equal to each other. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and subtract 3 from both sides. That's 0 plus 2x is equal to negative one-third x minus 3. We want to we want to get like terms together, so let's go ahead and add one third x to both sides. These cancel out, so we're left with negative three on the right, and two x plus one third x on the left. And these are like terms, so we're going to add two plus one third, right? And I'm going to go ahead and do a little work bubble. Um, this is two over one. How are we going to add these? We want a common denominator of three here. To do that we need to multiply by 3 over 3 because that's 1. So that's equal to 2 times 3 is 6, 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 third. Add the numerators now that we have a common denominator, 7 thirds. This is a little cloud, work on the side. So when we add 2x plus 1 third x we get 7 thirds x. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we can either divide by 7 thirds on both sides, or we can multiply by 3 sevenths to both sides. 3 sevenths. Right? Because the 3 sevenths cancels with 7 thirds, so we're left with x on the left. This is over 1, so we're left with negative 3 times 3 is negative 9, over 1 times 7 is 7. So in part A, we have x is equal to negative 9 over 7. Part B. We have two, <clears throat> we have this expression here, and the common base I see, this is 25, this is 125, and um, we want a common base. So I know this is 25 times um, 5, um, and I also know 25 is 5 squared, and 125 is 5 cubed. So let's go ahead and rewrite these with a common base. This is going to be 1 over 5 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to the square root of 5 cubed, that's 3, to the power of x. Right? I'm just go ahead and changing the numbers to um, a different representation, equivalent representations. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the rules of exponents to simplify this on the left. I want to bring this to the numerator, so I have to change the sign. So it's going to be negative 2 to the power of x plus 1, and now it's in the numerator over 1, but I don't need to write that. 
it's equal to, I'm going to change the, the root here to the power of 1 half. So this is 5 to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, right? The square root is the same as the exponent of 1 half. Now I know this means multiply, and be careful because now when I multiply, this is negative 2 times parentheses x plus 1 quantity. This has to go in parentheses because we're going to distribute that negative 2 eventually. Because this whole thing is going to be to the power of x plus 1. You can even put parentheses here. But this is not required. Now it is required. Okay? And 5 to the power of 3 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, we are going to multiply all the powers. So that's 5 to the power of 3 times x times 1 half. Now we have common bases. We can set the exponents equal to each other. Negative 2 times x plus 1 equals to 3 times x times 1 half. Okay? Let's distribute the negative 2. We get negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is minus 2 equals to 3 times x times 1 half is just 3 halves x. Let's add 2 to both sides. These cancel out here. We get negative 2x is equal to 3 halves x plus 2. Remember, we can't add these because they're not like terms. Let's subtract 3 halves x from both sides. We get 2 on the right. And how do we add negative 2 plus negative 3 halves? These are like terms, so we're going to add them. We're going to have to make this over 2 as well. So we're going to have to multiply by 2 over 2. So that's equal to negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 over 2 plus negative 3 over 2. Common numerator, I mean common denominator means add the numerator, so that's negative 7 over 2. Put that in a little math work bubble. So negative 2x plus negative 3 halves x is negative 7 over 2x. Now <clears throat> we can divide both sides by negative 7 halves. Right? We could also multiply both sides by the reciprocal, but I'm going to do it this way. These cancel out. We're left with x is equal to 2 over negative 7 halves, or 2 times the reciprocal. 2 times 2 over negative 7, which is negative, remember this is over 1, negative 4 over 7. So x is equal to negative 4 over 7. And that's going to end for us CPM. Precalculus, Chapter 3, Number 80.